Welcome to the GSSI training facility. Here we've, we've prefabricated a, a, a slab here in which we put down some radiant heating tubes, some uh, mesh and pan decking. And we're going to show how 3D, when we do a 3D method here, that we're going to show how this heating tube in here runs through this slab. I've already laid down a two by two grid, have my settings all set, and now I'm simply going to start collecting data here near the edge. So the first thing I want to do is just make certain that I line up the lasers. First, I'm going to do line one and line this laser up with this line and line these side lasers with this horizontal line, vertical line here. In doing so, once I have that, then I'm going to be pressing the start button, which is the up arrow, to start collection. I simply roll and commence collecting. Here I can go over the edge, this mini being a what we call a four-wheel drive that all four wheels turn simultaneously and together. And I will continue to collect the grid one line at a time. And as I finish line 13, in the X direction, I come over here and continue to line 14 in the Y direction. And once again, making sure my lasers are lined up before I press the start button. And continue the process. And now I will finish up with line 26. And again, being on the edge, two of my wheels will be off the edge. And because the Mini is designed to be four-wheel drive, so to speak, all four wheels turn simultaneously and together so that when I scan, even with two wheels off the surface and two wheels on the slab, I can still collect data here. And again, looking at the bottom screen, once I collect line 26, I simply press the exit button down for two seconds. Ask me if I want to go ahead and continue and process or cancel. Well, of course, I want to go ahead and process, which is the up arrow, and it will start processing the data. And after about 20 or 30 seconds, I'm able to see what's in this slab including the heating tube that's going around here. And looking at the bottom of the screen, I can change depth by pressing the up and down arrows. However, we do it a little bit differently. Like for example, the full range is from zero to 12 inches. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, zero to 12 inches down. By pressing the up arrow, I can actually bring the bottom of the slab up so that the slab will go to zero to 11. So I'm actually bringing the bottom of the slab up by pressing the up arrow. Okay, so that's, zero to four and a half, zero to four inches, and so on. And you can see how the heating tube's actually going downhill here. By pressing the down arrow and going back to where I was, zero to 12, and then continuing to press the down arrow, I can slice down zero to one inch, half to one and a half, one inch to two inches, and so on. And again, so I'm just slicing down through the slab here, and again, you can see how the heating tube is. I got deeper, it went downhill. So I continued down, you can see where the mesh was underneath the heating tube. And from going down to the slices, it starts up here and kind of goes downhill this way just slightly as it continues on. Earlier, I clicked a four by two grid on the other end of this slab and put, put the results here on my screen so that I can continue to see exactly how this, this heating tube is running through this entire slab here. The uh, two by two that I had just done, uh, the, he the heating tube actually came down here and looped down in here, but then you can see how it does a double loop up in here, and I can clearly see it. Once again, I've got the full range zero to 12 inches. Up arrow, I can bring the bottom of the slab up by half inch increments, or by pre pressing the down arrow, I can slice down zero to one inch, and so on, and see how the heating tube is actually, not only where it's located, 
but depth-wise where it's located as well. Previously, we had a job at a residential uh, location to look for uh, heating uh, tubes as well. And here's the, here's the results of that particular project. As usual, if you have any more questions or need more information about collecting 3D data, please refer to the StructureScan Mini HR Quick Start Guide.